Welcome back to Rise of Three Kingdoms. I forgot the name again. That's two episodes in a row. I forgot the name of the mod. Rise of Three Kingdoms. As we continue our wars in whatever year this is in China. Yan Yu. Collected. Okay. Collected. Faction Retainer. Structure complete. Small temple, the water element. Let's go to decree office then, I guess. Uh, recruitment report. Okay. All right. We'll send uh, Yan Yu into Mo Ling. Come. Let us stay in the street. Wrong fleet, heathen. Let's see if we can destroy Liu An. Liu An. Or not. He can certainly inflict enough casualties to make him retreat again. Shu Fang. Oh, he's got some better ships. But we sunk them both. Booyah! Baha! Eat it! Eat it! Were they our enemies? They were our enemies, right? They said at war, right? Sure done. All right, just uh, just gotta clear the gotta oh, clear the water water rays at water water ways every turn. There we go. English is my friend. English is my friend when I speak it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sure yes, English. Right, train that. Come. Let us stay in the sea. Right out of enemy navies near uh, near Lu Zhang's uh, docks. Jeez. You almost think uh, you know, you'd almost think we're at war with four factions. I mean, that'd be absurd, of course. My master will reward me for your death. Willy, Willy, now, or are you just saying that because you want to feel better about yourself? About. I still have done nothing about Linhai County. Still have done nothing sure about no. Linhai County. Now let's see how let's see how long this episode goes. I'm uh, I'm I you know I'm recording a, I'm I've, I've, it's probably a bad idea. I'm recording a second episode after the um after all the rage last episode. You know that's uh, probably just indicative of bad judgment on my part. It's just I. I wanted to continue a little bit more. I wanted to see what strategic opportunities. I wanted to see what strategic opportunities presented themselves. So, so present presented them. Whatever. All right. So, let's see. Uh, Harassing me. Jin will Shu not just tried to make me their vassal. Didn't go well for them. They still haven't besieged me here either, but I'm fine with that. So let's save Yang Shu one. I guess we'll end the turn. Got a couple of merchants moving right now. I come Queen Anne comes to me bearing offer we of a ceasefire. Again. Well, we shall make a counter offer because you know we want their map information. Uh, no, we want their map information. And I think we want. Do we want a region? How many regions do they have? Oh, they only have three. Okay, they're never gonna give me a region. Um, I don't know. I don't know how big Huanan Tort, Hu Huanan Hu Huan Huan. I don't know how to pronounce that actually. I have literally no idea how to pronounce that. Uh, and we're gonna ask him for a single payment of. Actually, we don't need wealth. Crap. Crap. They have literally nothing. Right, let's see. But can we get them to attack a faction? Maybe. Not the Jingnan. We need to need them to attack one of our enemies. Unless they're already fighting the enemy in question. No, no. No. They're already at war anyway. I'm pretty sure they have like a war with the three other people, so. Alright, we'll just demand map information, because I don't wanna I don't wanna push my luck here, so make offer. I could not, not dream, dream of refusing, refusing such an offer. offer. Farewell. We hope all our meetings work this way.
Oh, that looks like you're going to lose another merchant. Okay. Sir, I am giving you the single finger salute right now. Just one finger, because you're a dick. Alright. So, another merchant's been bought out because apparently I can't keep my merchants for the life of me. Apparently the enemy merchants are just... That merchant's just too good and I can't train any merchants comparable to him. So that's gonna be gold, guys. It's gonna go very well. Okay, Xu Gong. Okay, they just gained potential, all three of these. Cheng Heng, Liu Yao, and Xu Gong. Right. Construction report. Small temple, the water elemental. Ha, <laughs> kind of rhymes. Right, train. Uh, let's get ourselves an herbalist store there. All right, decree office. Let's get another herbalist store here, I guess. Tai Shu Fu and Jing 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 Shan, Jing Shan Shan Shan. I don't know. Right, decree off. I gotta stop saying I don't know. You guys know I don't know. You guys know that I have literally no idea what I'm saying anytime I try to pronounce any word in this mod. So okay, another decree office. All right, got some breathing room at least on this side of the river since. We managed to uh, drive back the Huyanan, the Huanan, Huinan. Okay. Oh, these are literally the three towns. No, wait. What? 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 This doesn't make any sense. Oh, they can't trade me their capital. Duh. Okay, makes sense. They have four towns. Never mind. Cow clan and. Okay, it's not me. Ah, oh, it's a Yanshu, and these are the Yangshu. Okay, we're the Yangshu, and they're the Yanshu. I finally made sense of it, because I actually read the letter there. The extra letter there. Okay. Everything's right in the world again. Everything makes sense. Okay. <laughs> I thought I was going mad for a second. I did it. Alright, let's drive him back. Drive you back. Let's make the uh, cost of war for our enemies so prohibitive that they will not want to continue at all. Alright, merged my forces here. So let's re start retraining. Oh gosh, everything's all torn up. Everything's all torn up. I can't retreat the axemen here. Crap. Now it's 67. Let's get something smaller. Is this 60 at 60? No! Stop it! I want no! I want 41! There we go. <laughs> Alright. Alright, the world's starting to make a little more sense again. Just a little. Just a little. I am at peace. I am serene. Aha! Sunk your navy, Gung Sun He. Well, whatever your name was. I don't know what his name was, actually. I didn't really read it closely. It does not matter who is right. Only who wins. Jamana. All right, I'm just gonna try to make a, a small. I'm just, just gonna try to get some a small monopoly on furs, I guess. Try to keep away from uh, Han Deng here. He's buying out everyone. So. We can start pulling these four. Okay, let's see. We have horsemen and we have swordsmen. So let's go. Let's pull four troops out of here. I guess. Transfer three of them to Hu Ling. I think. Sounds like a good idea, actually. Transfer three of them to Hu Ling. Hmm. How am I gonna do this? Because most of the garrison here should be Shang Yuan forces. You know, I'm gonna. I'm gonna let it go for another turn or two, just because I don't feel like micromanaging it right now. Alright, so, end of turn. Alright, uh, end of turn report, not whatever I just clicked there. Faction announcements. 
Shang Sheng is back at full supplies. Yan Yu, a supply abundance. Um, Chen Heng, fealty is increased. Nice. Construction complete. Okay. Herbalist store. You could do a gambling den, but I'm not sure that's necessary. So they're already pretty happy here. It doesn't seem like there's much use in decreasing my income any further. So I'm going to leave the gambling den. Go let the gambling den go for it. Um. Okay, I gotta get the Sun Clan. I gotta knock the Sun Clan out. There. My eyes are gonna be a big old pain in my butt. And the last thing my butt needs is pain. Herbalist store. Improvement report. Should be all retraining this turn. Yep. Diplomatic information. What? Oh, with the Yangsu, they went toward the Jingshu. Our other, our, our, uh, other, our mutual, we have a mutual, we have mutual, we have a, ah! We have a mutual foe. And I think I'm gonna let the Jingshu try to weaken him up a little bit before I go after them. Before I go after the Sun Clan. And shore up. I'm worried about my south, too. I have no idea what's in the south. Well, let's see if the merch can find, at least. Jinan County, County is not controlled by anyone right now, so... Yeah, that's Rebel Territory, too. I'm trying to think if we should build an army to come from Shishin, or rely on Taishi can't really resupply Chai Si Chi here, though. That's the problem. Alright, so let's see. What happens if I move him out of the city? Well, let's see how far... My master will reward me for your death. Prova. Okay, but it doesn't... It, damn, it doesn't improve the population growth. In fact, Liu Xiao becomes the governor here. I wonder why. What if I move you with him? Aha! Population growth! Though not enough. I don't think it's gonna last as long as I need it to, but... It'll have to do. Gonna... Move Taishi Chi back over here. I'm gonna start building up a new army here in, uh... In Shishin. In Shizin? Shizin? I'm assuming... I, I don't know, I've, I've heard it pronounced different ways, and I don't really know what the correct pronunciation of X is. It, you know, no in, uh, in Roman I of, of the Judah. X's when Chinese ro is Romanized is. I would think it's a Z, but I know oh, that's a Huynan Navy. I don't want to make go to war with them. I don't want to go with war. Go to war with you. I have a really experienced fleet there. Ooh, it's got more experience. Good job, Admiral. Good job. Speaking of admirals, I think I wanna I wanna play another mod for you guys, by the way. And it may even I may, if I really like go for it, it's probably gonna start before this video actually gets published. But I really wanna play a mod called Phoenix Rising. And it's for a game it's for a, it's for the Star Wars game Empire at War, which is always kind of a mediocre game. But it might actually be, you know, but I, it's a really, really fun mod. I wanna try to play it for you guys. But I'm not really sure if I'll be able to record it at the same time. So I'm going to figure that out, and again, we're going to see what's going to happen. Because I think it's a really fun mod, and I want to I want to at least show it to you guys, and you know, kind of maybe even encourage you guys to you know, even if it you know requires you to buy a, a mediocre game like Empire at War, you know, you'll get a, you know be able to play a really fun mod for it, and I think that'd be worthwhile. So anyway, uh, intern. End of turn report. Alright. Trait increase. Supply abundance for Shang Sheng. While it does slow him down, it's at least good to know that he's uh, got abundant supply there. Let's see, let's do cavalry stable because we need to replenish our heavy cavalry. Alright, let's replenish these guys, the heavy spearmen. They've been weak for ages now. Recruitment report. Alright. Diplomatic information. The Yoshu decided to declare war on us, because I don't know why. 
But we are going to start launching attacks on every enemy navy that is in the region. Gonna inflict devastating casualties on every ship. Admiral Gong Sun Shi. They can't stand against us. Now for the Bongi. Sun Clan. Wow, I'm surprised I didn't sink that. Oh well, I got experience for it, so it's good. Hold up. Alright, you train that. Freight increase. More victories gained. Twenty victories, Ramar Liu Liu Shi. And he's gained watchtower mastery. Which does increase his line of sight, but increases his movement range even more. Zerda. It's very good. That is very good. Drive out the Sun Clan. I'm getting done. I'm doing good in Riverine combat. That's a good thing, right? All that is left for us is to fight. Now let's see what the Sun Clan does. We're gonna keep the garrison high here. I'm hoping Lu Shang doesn't get defeated or anything. I'm gonna keep the garrison high there. Um... You're gonna garrison him there for now, so we can build a new army. And with Taisi Chi at their head, we might actually be able to breach the... Okay, we can retrain them too, that works too. But, you know, with the with the with Taishi Chi at their head, our, you know, our greatest hero, the commander under the gates, we might be able to take Po Yang. We're gonna see, though, what, um, what, uh, Jing Shu does first. Because they're the ones who do right. Because they might attack Hu Ling or they might attack Po Yang. I'm not sure which. Or they might even cross the river and attack Lu Zhang. Lu Zhang, and I don't want to take excessive risks until I know what the enemy plans to do. In fact, to that, ex to that effect, let us build a spy. Let's build another merchant. Because Jack Wagonery. Ah, there's that very nice merchant. There's a nice merchant. You know what? I think I'm gonna assassinate the crap out of his face. And when I say that, I mean literally, we're just gonna- he's gonna get stabbed in the face and crap is gonna come spewing out of it because I like to say nonsensical bullshit. Shut up. Join me. Alright, so we're getting some furs. It's not the most lucrative, but I can't really get the glass north of the... North of the area. Well, maybe I can if I train a merchant here. No, I also have to start spreading. Um, I have to start start spreading isolationism in uh, to the north. So, because they need because they need to become more isolationist, like us. They need to join us in our isolationism. Makes sense. All right, let's see. Eighty-nine, five, forty-two. I really need tons of things to, spend, blah, 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 things to spend money on. The spies gain some skill. Bonus is secret. Effect lasts until next spy success. What does that mean? After failing a mission or almost being caught, a good spy will assess their situation and out of their target to ensure they do not fail again. Oh, I see. Okay, that's not bad. That's actually not bad. Don't see how it benefits him since he has no base skill, though. Which I don't- which means- which then begs the question, why the hell are we recruiting him to begin with? But, uh, alright. Let's get some ballistas going. Because I have money to spend and not enough to spend it on right now. Right, diplomatic. Alright. Really? Really? Ah, so apparently Liang Shu have gained two client clans. Right, where did I build the spy? There he is. Ah, I forgot about the Yu merchant. Spy to the east. West. That's the west! That is the west, you idiot! Good. That's a diplomat. I don't have any scholars here. What? I need scholars. 
Well, that's okay. We can just build a scholar. Not there. We're not gonna build a scholar there. That's stupid. Um. Let's build a scholar here. And then we'll ferry him across the river. Where he may spread isolationism to the masses. Really? I still haven't killed that navy. I still have not killed that navy. Trade increase. Five victories for for the admiral. And meanwhile, here's the greatest navy ever under Liu Shi. What is, do is do does he have any? Okay, it's the admiral's banner. He doesn't even he doesn't even have one of the banners of one of the fleets. He just has a ban. He just has a banner. Congratulations, man. Congratulations. I wonder if I can make friends with the Sun Clan and help them against the against Jing Shu. The Jing Shu is very powerful. I'm pretty sure. I haven't really been looking, but I'm pretty sure they're up there. Like, uh, you know, they rank very highly in terms of power, so. Helping to take them out might help a lot. You know, in fact, let's move our diplomat. Smooth talker. Smooth operator. Yes, we can discuss matters if you wish. Unaligned forces. Um, nah. Nah, we shall let's screw speak that. no more today. Right, let's see. Let's see what we can get out of the Sun Clan since we've kind of beaten the tar out of them over the past few turns. Ah, I see. The Sun Clan heir has marched out of uh, marched out of Poyang. Apparently, they're planning on making war with someone. I don't know if it's me or someone else, though. Guess we'll find out. <laughs> All right, going to keep building up the army here in Shishin, though, just in case diplom diplomacy falls through, which it invariably does in this game. Because the AI is so inconsistent as to be completely maddening. It's like this, this, this is clearly in your. Why is my spy not gaining any skill? Do they not gain skill when they check in the same units? I have not been Hello, in the Hello friend. Only Where'd you come from? Where did Jing Nan come from? Uh, whatever, uh, I'm, uh, whatever, I don't know where they came from. Guess we'll find out soon. Ah, oh, yes, I have to start my ferry service too, so. Start getting my men. <laughs> Thank you, Hienan, for blocking off my navy. That's very appreciative. I am very appreciative. All right, enter. Oh, they decided to declare war again. The Huinan. Okay. Okay. Whatever, Huinan. Tell us so much for that moment of respite. Res respite. 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 Yes. Respite. Respite. Assistance feat for Lu Fan. Pacifier. Degree of mastery. Squalor minus two. Squall plus one. Reputation plus two. Assassin feet to de deceit. Talent for murder. Ooh, nice. Improves the skill of assassins. The use of deception can be an invaluable tool for the would-be assassin, as it is best if no one except the assassin has any idea where, when, and where the hidden blade will be. It will strike its target. Bonuses secret. Hmm. I wonder what bonuses they provide. Herbalist store, ballista range for good measure, and nothing. This music is very soothing. Like, very, very soothing. And I need the soothing music. Really, the Jing Shu are in contact with the southern tribes. Just enough contact to form an alliance. Okay. Okay, so... We're just gonna send our diplomat over here, because there's armies everywhere, and I don't like it. I don't like it. Gonna save... Diplomatic negotiations. Have you come to the offer surrender? No! Make an offer for a ceasefire. And apparently we can't they can't become a vassal. Apparently. Apparently that's not a thing. Yes. It's not time what I really wanted to happen. Okay. 
I'm surprised that the Sun Clan does not see the massive disadvantage they are at. Even after that major victory they got, they are still at an incredibly gigantic, humongous, humongous, yes, humongous disadvantage. And yet they cannot see the folly of continuing war against me. And you guys are just, are just bums. You are just bums. You made peace with me, and then you break that peace within however long it's been. You disgust me. One more turn on that, and... Alright, Yan by Hu is good. Okay, well, another one of these. We need to wait for infantry to finish up there, then. Wait, they can't merge. Shit. Okay, I'm just gonna wait here then. I'm gonna wait until we can retrain our troops here, and then we'll send Yan Yu out again with his army but to where? Where will we send him? Will we send him to attack the Huinan? Doesn't seem like a good idea to to extend ourselves too far beyond the river right now. Controlling the coast just seems like it seems like it's enough. So instead, I should send him either against. I think I'm gonna send him against the Jing Shu. Train. Can't retrain that right now. Right, gonna, I, need, I need to. I need to curb the use. Uh, not Yusheng, the uh, Jing, the the Jing Shu's uh, power a bit. Because they're kind of tough. We need to get rid of the Nielsen need to get rid of that landmark for them. Let's see, if I sail along the river. If I sail along the river, I can attack here, I think. And while that will leave me a little isolated, I think that benefits me on the whole. Get another scholar out. I'm gonna send this scholar actually westward. Then I'm gonna cross the river with another one. Are you okay, sir? You sound like you're having trouble breathing. Alright, then end the turn. One more turn. The Lady of the Wudomi set comes to age, okay. And a turn report, 98092. Very rich, at least. Faction announcements, ship figurine for Admiral Lu Shi. Watchtower, what? What? What does it even mean? Figurine of the Albatross. Line of sight, a figure's mounted in the front of the ship. Line of sight plus two other hidden effects. Okay, I don't know why, the, why that description came up, though. That's weird. Uh, fealty for Shu Li and oh, what? I'm confused. I'm confused. I don't care. I don't care. Sure I'm not gonna think about it too much. Um, all right, Moling cav cav cavalry, cavalry stable rather. All right, let's train that. Slowly building our forces back up. Um, trade center. Let's get our economy even stronger here. All right, the ballistas are done, which means we should be done constructing all gen in general. Recruitment report. Jing Shan. Okay. okay. No, relations worsen. Okay. All right. Let's do a little breakout here. Sunk their ship. Oh well, no, you have sh you have sunk my small paddle boat. No, not a paddle boat. I mean, ore boat. Actually, not a paddle boat, but uh, 
You know, I'll just, I'll just, gonna, I'm just gonna keep saying stupid things, and you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna just accept that I'm stupid. All right, I forgot to move the assassin last turn. What the fuck? That damn end turn button. Good thing that it auto saves the end of a turn. 95% chance, so we're just gonna Jun pursue the merchant. And if he gets Jun one of my merchants, that's so be it. Alright, so the Sun Clan managed to I will not utterly wreck a, uh, a Zhang Dong challenge. army. Or a Jing Shu army, not Zhang Dong, Zhang Shu. We are the Zhang Dong, I'm pretty sure. No, we're the Ang Shu. Gosh, I'm keeping the name. Blah, blah, blah. Never mind. I can't keep the name straight. That is cowardly. Fight me! Fight me! Fight! Fight! Okay, that's Japanese, but shut up. What the? What is the Cow Clan doing here? Are they trying to invade me? Oh, what is the Cow Clan up to? If I wanted to, I have a bad feeling about this. Oh crap, they control Hefei County. I'd even notice that. Oh man. They can they control the Hefei County. That's disturbing. That's disturbing and incredibly alarming and possibly deadly. Why does it sound like he can't breathe? Like sounds like it sounds like like something's pressing on his lungs. Why does he sound like that? It's creeping me out. Anyway, um, alright, so I guess I've generally made an assessment of what I'm facing. Um, got a lot of aggressive powers on our doorstep, and we may possibly be doomed, I don't know. Oh, be not. I do not know. I'm busy torturing captives. Okay, congratulations. Yeah. So, I guess I'm gonna end the episode here. I Thank you all for watching. You Rise- will. Shut up! Rise of Three- Rise of Three Kingdoms. Make sure to check the annotations around for more videos that I've done. Check the description below for the Extra Life Donation Drive. I forgot to do all this outro last episode because it's so pissed off. Um, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I will catch you next time. As I'm pretty sure we're going to have a lot more combat coming along. Until next time, everyone.